What's up, Bobble 2 crew, and welcome back to the channel. It's me, Ty, here with Nick and Ryan. What up? Alright, guys, I'm bringing a new band to the channel. Mm. It's the Guess Who. Uh, I'm not asking. I'm telling you, it's the Guess Who. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Alright, so have you guys ever heard of the Guess Who? No. Wow. <laughs> so I have, but the song we're doing today, I'm pretty sure that's the only song I know by them. Yeah, I would say so myself. Today, obviously, we're going to do American Woman. That's the only song we know. We don't know anything else. Ryan says he's heard it. If it's the song I think, then yes, I've heard it. Yes. But There's I don't know if you've heard this one. I think you've heard the popular one is there from okay. somebody else. Well, that's okay. Oh, which well, I'll well, say. The, yeah, the cover is done by Lenny Kravitz. Yeah. I think we're still going to put review, though. You know, the song itself, we've heard it. The Guess Who are a Canadian rock band from Winnipeg, Manitoba. I don't even know what that is. I've heard of Winnipeg. I've never heard of Manitoba. Definitely not oh, in yeah. the United States. Yeah. <laughs> well, duh. <laughs> the Canadian rock band. Come on now. So the band originated in 1962 under the name of Chad Allen and the Expressions. 1962. That's got to be the earliest form band we've done on the channel. It has to be 62. Man. Yeah, I don't think we've had any 61 or 60. After changing their name to the Guess Who, they found their greatest success in the late 60s and early 70s under the leadership of singer and keyboardist Burton Cummings and guitarist Randy Bachman. They've actually had a ton of members, too. Like, if you go on the page, it's just so many people. This right here, when they were in their prom, they said they had like 11 albums with this group and this is when they were at their peak okay but along with Bachman and Cummings Jim Kell was on bass and Gary Peterson was on drums could be Jerry I don't know because I got Okasic wrong on the cars and a hundred thousand people was commenting <laughs> Okasic that's a hard last name I don't know if it's Okasic 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 I don't know it's funny because when you said it I was like that sounds kind of off because I thought I heard his name before but I've never heard the guy's name so I, I wasn't sure so I didn't I'm just you. you know I'm just reading so I'm this just, is why I hate reading people's names another thing I don't know why we kept on saying 80s in that song yeah you did say 80s a lot <laughs> I guess because it sounds like an 80s yeah. song it does yeah. when we say it, you know that's a whole yeah. different thing but we did say so facts are optional yeah. on this channel Okay, yeah. get used to it. Today we're going to do American Woman, and it comes off the 1970 album, also titled American Woman. The music and lyrics were improvised at a concert in Ontario. Oh, Believe it or not. Hmm. Did not know that. This is actually not even just written and studied and all this stuff. This was just, Bachman was replacing a broken string and tuning his guitar when he came up with the riff. And then Cummings uh, stated that American Woman, stay away from me. He really meant Canadian woman, I prefer you. So it wasn't a diss to the American woman. It was more of a, hey, I prefer my women Canadian. Did not know that either. <laughs> I didn't know it either. No, I did not. Yeah, so a lot of people will say it's like about politics and stuff like that. No, this is literally just made up on the spot. He was just blabbering it, and he was he was in Canada. So he's basically, you know, he was flaunting it to the Canadian women that was there. Saying like, I don't want no American woman. I want y'all. <laughs> you, know, you know, that type of thing. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is the Guess Who? American Woman. Stay away from me 
God. instantly recognizable riff. This is oh, a yeah. banger, boy. This is fire. Everybody knows that riff. Do, do, do. The intro. I've never heard that in my life. Wow. I, I can't believe that you never heard that. It seems like every time I've heard this Slipped song. Slipped through the cracks. It's been on the radio. When they play it on the radio, they, they go skip. straight to the drop. Dun, 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 dun. That's where it starts. Yeah, well, they. I don't know why they skipped it. I forgot about it. I thought we had the wrong version at first. <laughs> no. no, I actually I knew like, that, what is this? I knew that this was in here. I've heard it like once or twice, but I totally forgot whenever you hit play. That, that's how it started. That's a great intro. Yeah. Yeah, I liked it. It's like really just like low key, and it's kind of building it up a little bit. Yeah, he spells out American. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Spelling bee over here. He's got a great voice, though, man. Yeah, I love his ad libs. Oh, too. yeah. When he really. Uh. <sighs> He's, yeah, he's got that force with it. Man, I like his, you know, his red. American woman! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. It's kind of gritty. Yeah, he don't want you American women. <laughs> yeah, he wants the Canadians. You best get out. Get out the way. Canadians only. You got to like the maple syrup. The real maple syrup. Hey, and, oh. the, and the drummer is real quiet back here on this side, yeah. but he is chewing. <laughs> you know, doing all these rolls and everything. It's kind of an odd uh, rhythm. It is. It's weird. With the drums there, but I like it. Why is that funny? Because it's just one. It's just one. You know, he could just be like, but no, he just chooses to just go boom. Why does the guitar kind of sound like it's in a tube or something? Yeah. How, how do they do that? Again, yeah. I'm not saying that as a negative. I think it's a cool effect. I yeah. just want to know how they achieve. There's a that. lot of videos we come across. We just like, how did they get that sound? I need more time to learn instruments and yeah, how they things work. Music I can theory. tell you about the drums now. I can tell you why drums sound certain ways, but I cannot tell you anything about these guitars. Yeah. Our lingo needs some serious updating. Yeah. Hey, if you need some info on a trombone, I got you. Get away from me, 
Fantastic. Yeah, Fantastic. Yeah, that's a Classic. Great song. A couple things. Never heard that intro before, so that kind of brings a new dimension to it. The meaning of the song does as well. Oh, yeah. Could you imagine being there when they just made this on the spot? Yeah. Just sitting there it's watching nuts. this and just being like, oh, this is fire! <laughs> uh, of course, that guitar just sounds great. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's such a unique sound. The drums. Oh. Never really listened to him before. He had some very nice parts. Oh, yeah. He's killer. They should have turned him up some more in this production. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, this is kind of quiet. Yeah, it's, I will the, say it's that, on the left side. Well, it's not I'm, in the right I'm at all. I'm just saying the song as a whole, uh, for some reason, at I mean, least in the headphones, it's not too loud. Produced in the 60s, I mean, shoot, man. Maybe I just need to turn this up loud. <laughs> <laughs> maybe if they, like, remaster it, if there's a remastered version, maybe. But then again, you know, who likes the remastered yeah. version? But I, I'm just nitpicking, honestly. That, that's a great song, and uh, you got to love fun. him riffing at the end. Oh, Man, yeah. he was getting low. That is he said, hard da, to do. Da, da. Yeah, how do you do that? Yeah. <laughs> well, I also think it's a fantastic song. And I also like, I didn't know about the... Da, da. Yeah, yeah. Boy, so you fire. heard the song, but yeah. you just, you know... Well, kind of like, I, I didn't know about the intro. Overlooked it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I just know yeah. the main parts. Yeah. I didn't know about all this at the end, though, when he started... All that, yeah, that was cold though. Yeah, that was cold. I haven't heard this song in a long time. That was probably the best I've ever heard it. Yeah, because of all those reasons. I, I mean, heard. I do that. You know, every time I come here, when I put these headphones on and when we do this, the songs sound, sound better. better. It gets better. It gets better with meaning and the headphones. Yeah, every single time. That's it, guys. Don't forget to drop a like. And as always, please tell us your views. Thank you for subscribing and hitting that bell. Peace, Peace out. out.